everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today. I thought I'd just do a really quick lesson on Ami Broker, how to create a watch list in Ami Broker. It's absolutely essential that you know how to do this because then you can backtest portfolios of stocks. You can quickly check stocks, uh, you know, like at, at the click of a button. Literally, it's absolutely fantastic. Let's just jump straight in. I'm going to show you two different ways. One, just uh, typing in the symbols for our watch list and the other way, importing Metastock data as well. So the first way, really, quickly this is our main screen of emmy broker this is the symbols tab right here as you can see we've got a few different tabs the one that we want is the symbols tab when we do click on the symbols tab we've got a few different selections and amazingly enough we have a watch list selection as well so that's the one that we actually want to click on you know what you could select any of these you could uh just click on the arrow on the left hand side of it and um but you know what if we're if we're creating a watch list let's just use the watch lists tab for now um when i do click on the arrow it will expand that and then it will give us a whole bunch of uh, different selections um that we can that we can use for watch lists basically. Now I've already got some set up myself, but if we scroll down, this is probably what yours might look like. We've got a few different lists from zero say to about, well I've got 63, you might have more there as well. And with our list, all we have to do is click on it, click on it once more and, uh, and it comes up blue. We can type in the name of our watch list. So we want awesome watch list, happy days. There we go. Now, the first way is right click on this and then we go type in symbols. So we type in our symbols. What, uh, let's say we put in uh, Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Let's say we put in Westpac Bank. Let's say we put in National Australia Bank and ANZ. Let's put those in. And as you can see, if we just click enter, obviously you just put a comma in between each symbol as well. And, uh, and when you do click enter, then they do appear in our watch list. So that's the first way. And this is our awesome watch list here. Now the second way, if we click on file up the top, we can go to import Metastock data. And, um, and there is a third way I'm gonna show you as well, but not in this video. But really quickly, Metastock data, this is probably the most common form of data that you'd be importing into your, into your AMI broker. Um, we click z group, group zero, basically, and then we can click our watch list. And as you can see, it comes up with all those names, including our awesome watch list, which we select. And then all we have to do is click browse. So what we're looking for now is a master file. And this is where I keep all the, the data that I, that I download at the end of each day. Um, and I download it in, uh, in Metastock format just so that I can import it into AMI Broker very easily. If I click on groups and let's say we want to check out financials or energy, let's check out energy. And as you can see, it's got the master file there. That's the only file that appears, even though there might be other files in the folder. That's what we're looking for. And we select open. Our stocks appear like magic. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? And um, all we need is for them to be selected with that arrow. We can click all just so that they're all selected if you want, or you can click none um, and then select the ones that you want just manually like that. Very, very simple stuff. And then all we do is click import. And if we click import, it'll go hallelujah. And there they are. They just appear. And then we can look at that. We can just scroll between them really, really simply. Um, it's just beautiful, easy, happy days. Guys, that is a really quick tutorial on how to create a watch list in Ami Broker. Have a great week, happy trending, and bye for now.